Hey guys, what's up? It's Fern. Thank you so much for joining me for another Planty video. Today we are going to be doing an updated Hoya collection and my collection has definitely expanded since the last time I filmed one of these videos, which was in the fall, I believe. So if I counted correctly, I now have 28 species of Hoya, which is pretty crazy. So a lot of these I do have multiples, but I'm just gonna be showing like one example of the plant. I really love Hoya. It's definitely become one of my favorite types of plants. They're so fun to collect because they're usually pretty small and compact. At least that's usually how you buy them as just a really small plant. Um, so it's really easy to kind of like hoard a whole bunch of them. <laughs> And recently I have had a few blooms, which has been so exciting. It's honestly just like such a fun part of my day to check on my Hoya peduncles and blooms and see how they're doing. And then when they finally open, it's so rewarding. I do have a whole video on Hoya care if you're interested, but for this one, I'm just gonna be showing all the ones I have probably pretty briefly. Um, I'll say a few things about them, but I'm not gonna go into depth because this video would be so long, but without further ado, let's hop right into it. I'm just gonna grab them randomly in no particular order, but the first one that I have grabbed is my beautiful Hoya Compacta. This is what she looks like. This thing has actually grown a ton. I kind of wish that it was in a plastic pot so that I could hang it and it could trail down from the ceiling, um, but it actually sits on a window ledge, so it started to kind of try to grow back up towards the light. I think that these look so stunning hanging though, so maybe one day I'll repot it into plastic. I know that these are relatively common, um, at least where I live, but they're one of my favorite Hoya. I think that they're so cool and unique looking and I love trailing plants, so this one definitely does it for me. Maybe I'll hold them on this side. I feel like you can see better um, on this side. There's less like clutter going on behind me. But yeah, my beautiful Hoya Compacta has not given me a bloom yet. I've had it for a few years but hopefully one day that would be so cool. Okay, next, one that has given me blooms, several blooms, is my Hoya Bella right here. Now, you've probably seen this before if you follow along my channel or follow me on Instagram. I actually recently repotted her into this larger plastic pot. I've said this so many times before, but I will say it again, Hoya Bella are thirsty plants. They are not like typical Hoya care. They like a lot of water. Mine is constantly growing, constantly blooming. I have a smaller version of this. I have several cuttings. I've given some cuttings to other people and um, yeah, she is still, she's still going strong. I think she might be getting a little bleached from the sun. Her color is a little light, but I'm thinking I might move her out of the west facing window and just see if she gets some of her darker color back. Oh my gosh, I'm already spending way too much time talking about each of these. Oh, it's so hard not to though. Okay, next is my Hoya Pubicalix. It has so many crazy vines. Um, it's just out of control. This is the first Hoya that I ever purchased. And yeah, I still have it. It's been super easy care. It has a lot of like bleaching, weird colored leaves up here. This lives in a west facing window as well. Recently bloomed for me. It was in my past favorites video, I believe. And yeah, beautiful, easy care plant. Not much else to say about it. Okay, next is my Hoya Kadada Sumatra, and it is just two leaves. It's shot out a couple of vines, but I don't have any more leaves yet. There's a peduncle at the end of one of them, but um, yeah, just these two leaves. I cannot wait until this thing gives me new growth. I'll be so excited. It's just so unique. I love the matte leaves. It's very different. Hoya Shepardii, very reliable, easy Hoya as well. It's shot out a couple of long vines, but they're actually starting to fill out. It's popping out leaves, which is really exciting. Has peduncles everywhere. Um, I suspect it'll maybe bloom this season or maybe next year. I don't know, we shall see. But yeah, really cute one, string bean vibes. <laughs> Okay, here is my beautiful Hoya Polynura. I actually chopped this thing up like entirely um, a couple of months ago now. And I have a bunch of like smaller propagations from that now, but the leaves had gotten burned. That's why I chopped it up. I just wasn't, I just wasn't loving how it was looking. And I'm really glad that I chopped it because the new growth is perfect. Like she is so beautiful. She is back. She is just loving life now. So yeah, really, this is a really fast growing Hoya. And in my experience, these are really easy care as well. A little bit thirstier than other Hoya. <coughs> 
but honestly nothing too difficult and really rewarding obviously she's stunning okay next is my hoya linearis now this is the only one that i'm going to show two different specimens that i have and the reason for that i i just mentioned this in one of my previous videos but um i've come to the conclusion that this hoya prefers plastic over terracotta and this is because it's just a bit of a thirstier Hoya again and I think that this one is just drying out too fast in terracotta they're from the same mother plant they live on the same shelf all the conditions and everything are the same but look how green the one in plastic is compared to the one in terracotta it's just a little bit like lackluster this one i don't know i think i'm gonna repot this into plastic and see how it does this one's just like a little plumper a little it's just a little bit happier um and that's really the only difference there is so yeah but um anyways this is one of my absolutely favorite hoya again i love trailing plants so i just think it's so pretty um i recently took a whole bunch of cuttings from this one it used to be a lot longer but now i'm going to be able to create <clears throat> a more full pot in plastic this is a pretty fast growing one as well. All right, next is my Hoya Chelsea. Now this was in my last Hoya collection video as well. And it was quite controversial. I had multiple people commenting, telling me that this is not a Hoya Chelsea because these leaves that it was propagated from are just a little bit wonky, um, a little bit weird looking. So I understand, but um, I was told it was a Chelsea and I trust the person that I got this from. So yeah, and the new growth looks like Hoya Chelsea. So I'm pretty confident that that's what it is. And it's still in sphagnum moss. I need to pot this up soon. It took, oh, I don't know, probably six months or so to give me, or maybe even longer than that, six, eight months maybe to give me new growth. So I'm happy that it's finally establishing itself and I can get it all potted up. So cute. I love how dark this new growth is when it comes in, so nice. All right, next is one that I am struggling with a little bit lately, not gonna lie. This is my Hoya Croniana Silver. Um, this was actually given to me as Hoya Lacunosa, but uh, everybody said that it's Croniana, and I think that you guys are probably right. Um, but this Hoya, I don't know, it hasn't done anything, and it's actually lost quite a few leaves. They will just yellow off and die. So I don't know, is there a trick with Hoya Croniana? Let me know if you have one because it's just, it doesn't love me and I'm not sure why, but I really, really want this thing to grow. It's really pretty. So hopefully it just, you know, sorts itself out and takes off soon. All right, next is another little cutie. This is Hoya Verticulata Variegata and it's so pretty. I love this one. The leaves on this one are just so beautiful. I love the variegation. This Hoya has not done much for me either. I'm actually thinking of putting this in my Ikea greenhouse because whenever I put Hoya in there, they tend to shoot off new vines and take off. So that might just be what it needs to get going. Um, I just have kind of had it on the shelf behind me for now, but I think it might need um, some higher humidity in the cabinet. So. so hopefully it will grow soon. It's so cute. And then next, similar color color scheme here. This is my Hoya Carii Album Arginata. And if you've been here for a while, then you might know that I did not like this plant. <laughs> I've had it for a couple of years now and it has done absolutely nothing for me until recently. I cannot believe this vine that it's put out recently. Like I was shocked when it started growing because I, I had another one of these as well that I got rid of. Um, but I've struggled with them so much. The white was always burning on my other one and they just, they're so slow growing. The new leaves would come in so wonky, but I don't, I don't know what it is. This one is suddenly happy. The new leaf is looking beautiful. It's not fully developed yet, but so far so good. And it even has a peduncle. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. You can see the peduncle right there, so cute. So lately I've been loving this one. Oh, I'm so happy. I can see why people like these, like I can see. Mine was just stubborn. Maybe they take a, quite a while to establish themselves, like years, but I suppose it was worth the wait. All right, next is a really unique one. This is one of my favorites. This is Hoya Bordenii, and I like it because it has these really crazy looking leaves that get beautiful sun stressing. I love the purple. It's so cool. Um, so this one has actually put out several new leaves since I got it, which is really exciting. 
and it seems to be keeping that kind of sun-stressed vibe as well. So I'm really happy about that. Cannot wait to watch this thing grow more. It's just so funky. I really like it. And then next is Hoya Elmery, which is another kind of unique one. It has a lot of sun stressing as well. Not so much on the newer leaves, which I'm not sure why, because it gets a lot of light. Uh, it lives under my Mars Hydro Grow Light. Um, but this is giving me quite a few new leaves as well. Like the new leaves are just so shiny and pretty. It looks so healthy. And look at that tiny, it has a tiny cute little new leaf coming in as well. So this thing has been growing really well for me. It's putting out another vine right there too. So I'm just so excited. I love watching these grow. It's so rewarding. This one's been really easy going, which is awesome. All right, next is another trailing one. Oh my goodness, it's attaching to, to the uh, pubicalyx. <laughs> this is my Hoya Curtisii. And as you can see, it's pretty long. This thing has just grown like crazy. I've probably had it for just over a year maybe, um, a year and a half I would guess. And it was barely trailing when I got it. And now look at it, it's so happy. And the top is so full. That's one of my favorite things about this. It doesn't get like sparse at the top like a string of hearts or something would. It actually has a lot of new vines coming out of the top, which is so nice. It just looks so beautiful. I love the little pattern on the leaves. This thing has been so easy for me to take care of. It's actually wild. For the most part, I ignore it. I've never had any pest problems or anything like that with it. And I, it doesn't need water very often. To check if it's thirsty, I just squeeze the leaves. It's very similar to String of Hearts. If you've cared for one of those, when the leaves are soft, I give it some water. When they're hard, I just let it be. And yeah, it lives under a grow light in my dining room and it's just been happy as a clam. All right, next is my Hoya Macrophylla. Uh, Albo marginata again I think that's what this one is called um, it's like the the more common one I think it's harder to find just the all green of this one and as you can see it is on a trellis it does have some leaves near the top here as well oh they're backwards because they're facing <laughs> they're facing the window um, this is probably it's oh no this this is those are both massive actually can't even tell which one is bigger I think this is the biggest leaf it's huge and it's so pretty. I love it so much. This Hoya is another one that's just been so easy for me. I brought this back home when I visited uh, Seattle a couple of years ago now and um, it was only two leaves then so it's definitely been growing. It does have a peduncle at the top there swinging around if you can see so that'll be so cool if this thing blooms. Okay, this is so cute. I actually do have a Hoya in bloom right now. This is my Hoya rotundiflora, and I will show you its bloom. That is what its bloom looks like. Isn't that so cute? Oh my goodness, and it smells like lemon drop. <laughs> it's just so precious. Um, so this is what the plant looks like as a whole. It has been growing like crazy. It's so funny. This plant did nothing for me the first year I had it, like absolutely nothing. And then all of a sudden it started growing and it started blooming. And I'm just like, what the heck is going on here? I guess some Hoya, like they're kind of known for taking a while to establish themselves. Uh, but some of them, it, it's like a while, it's like a few months, and then some of them it's like a year or two. So yeah, but it's giving out new leaves. Those two are fresh fresh little leaves and then it even has others coming up coming in right there little tiny ones I love this one because of the leaf shape it's like rectangular it's so unique okay next is my Hoya Wyettii recently propagated this as well it is such a full pot though it's putting out a lot of new vines from the top too which is so awesome I love really full plants can't wait until it's trailing but so far so good I did struggle with this a lot in the beginning I have no idea why um, but for some reason it's just happy now, I don't know, um, it's doing great so I'm not questioning it, we're just going with the flow here. Next up is my Hoya Finlaysonii. This is another one that I can't seem to get to do anything. Um, it looks pretty much the same as when I got it, it hasn't given me any new leaves but I don't think it's lost any leaves either. Um, this I just recently put in my IKEA greenhouse cabinet, so I'm hoping that that's going to encourage some new growth, but we shall see. It is such a cool looking Hoya. I love these really like Jurassic looking leaves. It is so cool, very prehistoric looking. So I cannot wait to see this thing grow. It's gonna be so exciting once it gives me a new leaf. All right, next is one of my favorites on this cute little snake trellis. This is my Hoya Matilde. 
I really wanted to put a Hoya Serpens on this trellis, but I cannot for the life of me get my hands on one. They sell out as soon as they restock in um, the online plant shops here. And um, yeah, I just opted to put the Matilde on it because, you know, kind of similar vibe, just a bit of a bigger leaf. Anyways, Hoya Matilde is one of my favorites. It's such a fast grower. I grew this plant from a small cutting um, a year ago. I've taken multiple propagations from it and it's just going strong. It's recently put out a whole bunch of peduncles as well. So we shall see if this gal blooms, but yeah, I just love her. Okay, next is possibly the world's slowest growing plant and that is my Hoya Compacta Variegata. So it's the variegated um, Hoya Compacta. And I have had this thing for years now. This is one of the first like more rare houseplants that we got and it's so pretty. And as I was saying, the Compacta is one of my favorite Hoya. So I really, really wanted the variegated one. When I see big full pots of this plant, it's just like, it's to die for. But mine, <laughs> it won't grow um it puts out i don't know a few leaves a year type of thing it did recently put out a couple one of them is all white um which scares me a little bit this plant was putting off all white last summer so i had to cut it back um to promote some green again and it worked but i'm just hoping that it doesn't give me another all white leaf in a row because what happens is those leaves can end up just they likely will end up just dying and falling off because there's no chlorophyll in them um, and then you just have gaps in the plant so I don't really want that but but yeah I will just be happy if this thing starts growing at any rate faster than what it has been. I really want the Hoya Compacta Moana Loa which is a different variegated form of this um, but I am having a hard time getting my hands on that one too um, but yeah I love this plant even though it refuses to grow and it's just staying a mini version. All right, next is another favorite. This is my Hoya obovada. Look how beautiful it is. I cannot get over the newest leaf. It's just so pretty. This is a leaf that it put out after being in my greenhouse cabinet. Like I said, my Hoya love it. They love the humidity. I love how dark this green is too. It's just so beautiful. I can't wait until this plant grows. It's actually putting out another new leaf right now and um, looks like it's keeping on going. So yeah, hopefully I'll get a few new leaves out of it this growing season. This little cutie pie right here is my Hoya Angleriana. Um, very dainty, small little leaves, kind of similar to Hoya Bella, but different shape. This thing has been growing like a weed in my greenhouse cabinet. I recently propagated it in one of my last videos. Um, I took a couple cuttings from it, so it's a little bit shorter. It was just growing straight up. So I'm gonna make a fuller pot from that. But yeah, really cute. Uh, fast grower so far in my experience. All right, next is one that I'm really proud of. This is my Hoya Sigillatus. I received this as an import. Um, in the fall and it was like a pretty long vine uh but all of the leaves died except for one they just all shriveled off um so i rehabbed this from a one leaf cutting basically and it's rooted really well you can see all the roots in the bottom of the sphagnum moss there i'm actually going to pop this up soon it lives in my ikea greenhouse cabinet too and these are new leaves that it's given me these two recently and I'm just so excited. I can't believe that it made it. I thought I was gonna lose this thing so many times, but I didn't. Um, you guys know that I keep trying with my plants until I'm like absolutely sure that they're not gonna make it. Uh, but yeah, really cool one. And next to that, kind of similar story with this guy. This is my Hoya fungi. And I grew this from a wet stick. Uh, this was mailed to me as a cutting. It lost all of its leaves or maybe all but one. Eventually it lost all of its leaves. Um, and I thought that there was no way that anything was going to grow from this, but I put it in a Tupperware container on a bed of sphagnum moss and it was just a stick and then eventually it popped out one tiny leaf, that one right there, and I couldn't believe it. So I left it in that container until it popped out two and then I put it in this container and moved it to my greenhouse cabinet and now we have that third leaf and it's so much bigger. So I'm just really excited about this. I can see the roots in the bottom of this guy too. So in a little bit more time, I'll pot it up and hopefully it will grow even more. Okay, we are getting to the end, you guys. Um, this is my Hoya 
Waleniana UT152 and this is one of my favorites. Oh my gosh, I feel like I've said that a hundred times, but this is um, one of my favorites because uh, I just think that the leaves on it are so unique. I love the like dark purple sun dressing and I think that this is gonna look so pretty once it's like a more full trailing plant. It did have a piece that was trailing a little bit more, but I recently propagated it. This is the two newest leaves it's given me um, since it was moved to the Ikea greenhouse cabinet. I recently moved like a whole bunch of my Hoya in there if you can't tell. But yeah, they are so much bigger and these leaves are like a lot more thin and kind of delicate feeling compared to other Hoya, but I just love it so much. It's giving me tons of new growth here in the back, which is so exciting. Really cool one. All right, next is my Hoya Quinquinervia and um, this is the newest leaf right here. Look at that. It's so big and shiny. Also lives in my cabinet. It's just been... It's been a really easy Hoya for me. Um, it didn't do too much until I put it in the cabinet and then it gave me this new leaf. But yeah, it also has some really beautiful lighter veining and some sun stressing, which is really cool. I can't believe how big this new leaf is so far. Okay, speaking of big, I am going to show you guys the last two Hoya in my collection. They are my large hanging baskets, my babies. Let me go grab the first one. Okay, so this big mama right here, this is my pride and joy. This is my Hoya Crimson Queen. Isn't she regal? I just love her so much. Oh my goodness, look, she's just so stunning. Um, I've had this Hoya for a couple of years now as well, and I know that this is a common Hoya that you can buy, but it will always be in my top favorites. Look at these leaves. Uh, it loves to put out like pure white leaves. It will just throw out vines of pure white. It's so beautiful. It get, gets pink on it as well. This is also sometimes sold as Hoya tricolor. But yeah, she has been a dream to take care of. So easy, very reliable grower. Um, very, very easy care. I only water her about once a month. Again, I test if the leaves are bendy and soft and then I water her. Really have not done anything special. I am waiting for her to bloom. She's never bloomed for me. She does have a peduncle. Oh, it's right here. This is the first peduncle that I've spotted on her right there. So we'll see if she blooms. That'll be so cool. But yeah, this is one of my first Hoyas as well. So I just love her. The variegation is so pretty. I don't have the princess in my collection. Um, the princess is the one that is variegated on the inside. I would like to add that to my collection, but um, I have not yet. For now, I just have this one. So stunning. Okay, and then next is this bad boy. This is my Hoya Carnosa Green. And it's funny because this is like the most like basic Hoya you can buy, just the regular Hoya Carnosa, but Oh my goodness, there is nothing basic about this plant. <laughs> Look at it. It is just so special. I cannot get over the leaves on this guy. They're huge. They're such a dark green. This thing grows so fast. It's so easy. I honestly don't know if I've ever like lost any leaves from this thing. I found this on Facebook Marketplace, which was such a great find. I think I paid like $30 for it, which was pretty reasonable to me since it was so large. This one, as well as the Crimson Queen, both hang in my kitchen and they just look so nice and lush. And they're definitely one of my favorites in my collection. I would not get rid of either of them. I can't wait to see some of my other Hoya get this big. Whew, all right, that was a lot of Hoya. Thank you so much if you stuck through to the end of the video. If you could give it a big thumbs up, I would appreciate it so much. It really helps me out. Let me know what your favorite Hoya was down in the comments below. I would love to chat with you. Also make sure you subscribe to my channel for more planty content. I make videos on Monday, Wednesday, Friday and vlogs on Saturdays. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one, bye.